Welcome to the Start Thinking Forward Morning Show. It is your host, Brandon L. Draper. I want to welcome to you, first of all, for joining in, but also a happy new year. You made it to 2020. Here's another opportunity for you to be great, to go after the things that you want to do. But as is always says, you start off with these New Year's resolutions. I don't even call them New Year's resolution. I call them New Year's transformation. Like it's your time to have that 2020 vision for you to start seeing things the right way. And that's what we're going to talk about this morning is how you see things. How are you seeing things? So in life, sometimes we get what people would call a bad deck of cards. We get a bad hand, right? And in life, it doesn't really matter uh, what cards you are dealt is how you play the cards you are dealt. Do you understand what I'm saying? See, if you keep getting a bad hand in life or you make yourself feel like you've been this victimized by life and you always get in a bad hand, think about it. When you actually do get a good hand, you don't know how to play it. Therefore, you end up right back in the, in the same situation. So how many times just because you know life dealt you a couple of bad hands when an opportunity came you just was not prepared to do anything about it because you're so accustomed to losing you're so accustomed to being the last one up that even when you had an opportunity to to succeed you didn't do it let me give you an example so a couple of years ago i wanted to have this show right i wanted to put on a performance i wanted to get this big location here in Atlanta. And I was way over my head in this. But so I made a decision. I was going to reach out to some very influential people. And I reached out to two major people that that I looked up to. One was Tony Robbins. Everyone knows Anthony Robbins. And then a second, um, oh my God, it's kind of slipped my mind right now. Um, um, Brian Tracy was the second one. So Um, I reached out, I sent an email out to Brian Tracy's people, and I also sent an email out to Tony Robbins. And one of the things I wanted to start, the momentum was to get them on my show. Now, I went into the situation looking at it from, there's no way that they're going to reach out to me. Number one, um, my... I wasn't being consistent at my business, so number one, so my podcasting wasn't consistent at all, right? But I was looking for something, right? And based upon my consistency, I figured, well, why not? I'm going to just do it. I already know they're going to say no. So my level of expectation was that they were going to say no. So like clockwork, I get the first email from Brian Tracy. And what it says in the email is one Brian Tracy is too busy. He does not have time. This and a third. And I said, well, that's what I figured out. I figured that out anyway in my own mind. So I kind of just got disgruntled and didn't even check my email. So a couple of days passed, like maybe four or five days passed. I get another email in. This email is from Tony Robbins, which huge, influential individual in personal development. And they're saying, hey, you know, matter of fact, the time that you're talking about matches the time that Tony can can do it. All right. What I need you to do is send me over the demographics of your show. Funny thing. I can't send anything I haven't done. Right. So now an opportunity has come my way that I can have on my podcast. The number one personal development guy known on earth. Right, all over the world has a big audience, has a huge audience. But because I've been so inconsistent in my business, right, I can't send them what they need. See, I got accustomed to to having a bad hand. So even when I was dealt a good hand, I wasn't prepared to play. (laughs) Isn't that funny? So, how many times in our own lives, if you're hearing this, how many times have you had an opportunity, but because you fail? to prepare because you weren't preparing to succeed. You just thought, well, you know what? I've been getting eggs all this time. I guess I'm going to continue getting egg in my face. You know, it's not, it's nothing going to change, but 
if you change the mindset and start having a level of expectation that you are going to have what it is that you want eventually if you work hard enough for it, if you think about it positively, you know, and it's not just thinking about it positive, it's actually doing something about the positivity that exists in you and start preparing for something great to happen instead of just saying, no, I know nothing's good is going to happen. And you end up like me having the opportunity of a lifetime opportunity of a lifetime and it passed you up like a fart in the wind right <laughs> and now you think that's funny but you know it's not funny when you realize when you start to reflect back on your life and you start looking at the things you could have done but you didn't do because you didn't have the right mindset so it's like in my first book becoming who you should be despite who you are i know it's a long title okay it was my first book right but in that book, I wrote that idea, right, is that who we are today still has to pay for who we were 20 years ago, even five years ago, 10 years. ago. So just imagine, right, someone from 20 years ago coming to you now and telling you you're going to pay for what they did. Right. And you're going to you're going to continue to pay that for the next 20, 30, 40 plus years in your life. You're going to say, man, if you don't get away from me, it's going to be a problem. But just imagine oftentimes when we look at us, I, I know for me, I'm talking about my journey here. I'm looking at where I'm at now. And I look back at who I was 10 years ago, who I was 15 years ago. Right. Who I was 10 or 15 years ago, who I am today. I have to pay for that. And that sucks sometimes when we make bad decisions in our past. And, you know, whether whether we're talking about credit or whatever, finances, uh, situations that we could have done, didn't do, shouldn't have done. But who we were 10, 15 years ago, who we are today has to pay for all the mistakes of that person. And, and the crazy thing about it is who you are today, you may not even recognize who that person was 10 or 15 years ago. So that really sucks. But it all boils down to the same principle, the same idea of you getting in a mindset of preparing yourself and start, you know, everything rises and falls off of planning, being a strategic planner, trying to, to know the moves on the chessboard. Right. That's what is, that, that's what the magic happens. See, the game doesn't change. Business doesn't change. There's technology and all these other things change. But the overall game itself doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the is the players on the board. They're moving around and they're shifting. So if you're trying to get yourself on the board, you're trying to figure out how do I. Do, well, it comes with planning, looking at what your moves are going to be. It's a whole nother year. Stop operating with the New Year's resolution. Right. Every day is a new day. Right. You don't have to wait for a new year. It, the years are made up of days. Think about that for a second. The years, if a year is made out of 365 days. So why are you waiting for one period of the year to decide that you want to make a shift or a change? Every day is a new day. Why don't you make, if you want to go that far, if you wanted a New Year's resolution type people, why don't you have a new day resolution of what you're going to do each day? Because those days compound into a years and those years compound into decades. Because remember, it's 2020. Where were you 10 years ago? Right. Think about that for a second. Right. Think about that for where were you 10 years ago? How many days did it take to make 10 years? There was a bunch of days where you could have started. See, the best time to start something if you want to be in business, you want to start saving or you want to start dealing in stocks, the best time to do it was 10 years ago. The next best time is right now. What are you doing right now? Wake up. So check this out. I don't care what it is you're doing. Stop what you're doing right now, unless you're driving. You got to be safe, right? Stop what you're doing. If you're writing, what? think about what I'm saying, right? The best time to have done something was in the past. It could be a year, two years. You should have, you should have, you should have got into Bitcoin. For those that are a lot older, you should have bought into McDonald's, right? You should have started a Starbucks, whatever that is, right? I get it. You should have done that back then, but you didn't. The best time to start, the second best time to start is right now. What are you gonna do 
right now in this moment. That is what matters the most. And I'm not saying this as no fluff to get you motivated, to get excited on some BS. Because guess what? When you get excited, right? That, and that is it, it, just for a moment, right? Because you're excited. You hear this podcast. You hear another. You read a book. You get pods. You get all motivated and stuff. And then that bill comes in. Or something happens at, at your child's school. Or something happens at the work. Someone gets on your nerves. And you realize like, man, I shouldn't even be here, right? So all that stuff doesn't mean anything if it doesn't get inside of you, right? It's not just about motivating for the moment, this is a movement. You got to internalize what I'm saying. Because that's the only way that you're ever going to see something productive come out of your life. It's like, wow, now you got to reflect on the a, on a reality of what's going on and how you're going to change that. Right? Because you still have another day. You woke up. You're hearing this. This is a new day. Not a, just a new year. The new year came at 12 or 1201 when the, when the clock that was a new year. That that was the first day of the year. It's just another day. The days compound into the years. Make it a new day. What are you going to do new today? Not what you're going to just do new year for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. You trick yourself into doing something and you don't really turn it into a habit. And then next year, 2021 becomes the year when you're really going to do it. Well, you said that in 2018, that 2019 is going to be the year, right? And 2019 kicked your butt. Now you're saying it's 2020. Stop lying to yourself, right? Stop, stop lying and, and, and having this idea that that's just how it works. No, it doesn't work that way. You just haven't made a declaration yet. Make a declaration, not just a New Year's resolution. I challenge you to make a new declaration in your life that every new day is going to be a new experience for you to truly experience you and knowing what you want and what you're going to create greater, right? All right, And all that falls or rises based on your level of preparation. That's all it is. This, this business, life, entrepreneurship, it's a numbers game. What I mean by that is a numbers game, meaning that there's a probability that you're going to make it and there's a probability that you're not. Point blank, period, right? Now, you might some people be saying, man, that's kind of harsh. That's just what it is, right? There's a probability that you're going to make it. There's a probability that you won't. So how do you increase the probability of you making this comes through preparation, right? You want to start a business, but right now you're working on someone's job, right? Guess what? You need to start saving money so that when you actually step out, guess what? You have some money to be able to put into your business, right? You have some money saved up and you're already part time working. See, when you start in that business, you want to be part timing, right? Your dream. Right. Because sometimes I'm going to tell you when you're going after your dream, sometimes it doesn't pay you right away. So it's all right to be part time in your dream while you're full time on the job. And the, the full time job is paying for your part time dream until your part time dream turns into the full time job. And your full time job be the full time love of your life because you love what you do. So it's not like work, but it's paying you like you did at the job and it's paying you even more and you get to enjoy what you're doing. Somebody heard that. Somebody didn't miss that. Somebody wasn't drinking coffee when they heard that and they were able to hear that. Because so many, you know, sometimes in life, it's just that those moments come with those critical components, those keys come out. But we're doing something. We're being distracted. And that's the one combination that we needed, that one more number we needed in that combination to open up that safe. And you realize how great you are, but you missed it. How many times are you going to continue missing the points of these are jewels I'm giving to you this morning? Wake up. Wake up. It's your time. It's your season. If you decide that it is, you make a declaration that it is. No one makes a decision if it's your time. It's your season. You do. Pause. Think about it for a second. See, one of the things, I'm, I'm going to end it here, right? So I want to explain some of People hear little cliche-ish things and they don't really understand what it means. We are all self-made, Right? We're all self-made. This is a saying that says, we're all self-made, but only the successful will admit it. 
I want you to think about what that means. And I'm going to interpret it for you. Right. I'm going to BLD it for you. Right. I'm going to break it down to you. Right. We are all self-made, but only the successful admit to it. When our lives are not going the way we want it, it's everything else except us. When you had a type of mind, let me tell you something. Nothing changes. Literally, if nothing changes, if you got a mindset where somebody or something else has to change in order for your situation to change. mm, 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 Somebody got it. If you got to wait on a situation or a person to change in order for your situation to change, it may never change. Everything rises and falls on you. Period. We are all self-made, but only the successful will admit it. When all hell is breaking out in your life and your life is not going the way you want it to go professionally, personally, it's everyone else's fault and every other situation's fault except for ours because we don't want to admit that we created what, where we're living. We're, whatever, wherever you find yourself, whatever station you find yourself in right now, you've created it. So if you created hell, you can create heaven. How do you create? Meaning you got to think about the decisions you're making. You got to think things out. Earl Nightingale wrote The Stranger Secret. And The Stranger Secret, he was talking about most people don't think. I need you to think. Because we think we're thinking, but we're just responding. Right? I mean, I'm not going to say responding because that's actually a good word. We're reacting. Most people are reactors. They only react to external factors on the outside of them. It's never a positive response. It's never preemptive. Meaning they never prepare for it. They never prepare for a rainy day. They never prepare that something bad may happen, right? It's everything is just, I deal with it as it comes. And if you deal with life as it comes, life is going to give you whatever comes. So you think about that for a second. Do you want to just accept whatever life gives you? Or do you want to start dictating what life will give you, what you will accept from life? And it comes from preparation, it's not a it's not a guess game. It's not a probably you don't have to struggle for 10 years to figure this out. I'm giving you the shortcut this morning and I'm telling you it comes from preparation. You want to be successful in business, start planning to be successful in business. And I'm not just talking about just some whimsical planning, meaning what does it take to really start the business? How long does the average business take to be profitable in your particular niche? What do you need to do? What do you need to prepare for? There's numbers behind that. Right. This is not just you decide you get mad or get into your emotions. You're going to quit your job just because. No, I got statistics behind it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly where I'm going, because if you don't set a plan, anything is going to happen. Most likely the worst of things are going to happen. Right. Because that's what non plan. So think about it. When you plan, everything goes to hell once the first thing happens. Right. That's when you plan. So just imagine if you don't plan. It's whatever. You get knocked upside your head, get knocked out. That's A, it's whatever. Because that's what you told the universe. That's what you told the world. It's whatever, man. I take whatever comes my way. I don't want to take whatever comes my way. I want to orchestrate what's going to come my way. And I think most people that's listening to this want to do the same. Hey, guys, thank you for joining in to the Start Thinking Forward morning show. Please subscribe to us. Follow us on Instagram at therealmotivationalking.com. Also, you can visit us online. If you're looking to write your book, please visit us online at www.pinnaclepointpublishing.com or give us a call at 1-866-222-3940. Hey, guys, I love you. Um, please continue to support our um, uh, message of motivation, inspiration, entrepreneurship, and all the stuff. And tomorrow we're going to have a very interesting talk. We're going to talk about the entrepreneurial struggle and my outlook on it in comparison to some other, uh, I'll say speaker heads is out there that uh, talk about it in a little different way. And I'm going to throw my spin on what business really is and what it is not and how to really go out and truly make a difference Uh, in the entrepreneurial space, if that's something that you're trying to do. 
Um, also, please, um, where, where if you want to be get a more of an inside circle, inside look of some of the techniques and things that I teach my students, uh, you can go to Patreon dot com forward slash creators inner circle and be a part of that movement um other than that guys i look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning hey just remember it's never too late to start thinking forward and i'm out